christhemoleman at gmail.com. A lot of people will ask me, why is it that I've had a trapper trapping my moles for the last year and they're having absolutely no luck and my property still looks a mess? This kind of infestation, if you can see the churned soil, the zigzagging tunnels, and all the mounds, trapping is entirely useless to this. The activity here, first of all, doesn't have any straight tunnels that can be targeted. And secondly, most of this activity, this mole is never going to use again. Uh, this is a soil problem. So if you have traps in here for the longest time, and you're thinking that your trapper has just been doing an awful job, it's not usually your trapper's fault. It's a, this kind of activity is entirely useless for traps. This kind of mole activity is a soil problem. This soil is really alluring to moles. It's pulling them in from the neighborhood. And if you did just happen to luck into catching a few, because this soil is a magnet for the local population of moles, it just pulls in the next wave. Kill those, the next ones move in. This kind of activity isn't trappable. This is a soil problem. There's a long-term mole removal soil treatment where we can apply to this to help drive moles away and oftentimes keep them away for two to three years. This client um, is a previous client from 2014, from six years ago. Uh, they've had uh, very good success for the last six years. They referred the client uh, to my right, and they're still mole-free since 2014. This client is now having infestation, and we're giving them another treatment. This cannot be trapped. This is a soil problem. Treat the soil, help drive them away, keep them away long term. Chris the Mole Man at gmail.com.